Nutrition in humans. The digestive system. What is digestion? There are a few ways of digestion. Chemical digestion. With the help of enzymes, food can be broken down into simpler substances such that it can be absorbed by the body. Physical digestion. Mechanical method of breaking, grinding, and chewing food into smaller pieces such that it is easier to be digested. Enzymes. Special proteins that speed up the rate of chemical reactions to digest food. Efficiency of enzymes varies with pH and temperature. For example, amylase works best at pH 6.8. So what is pH? pH is low like 1 to 3 when acid is present. pH is high like 10 to 12 when alkali is present. Here are some examples of nutrients breaking down into simpler forms. Proteins to amino acids, fats to lipids, and disaccharides to monosaccharides. Let's take a look at the human digestive system. It consists of mouth, esophagus, stomach, liver, pancreas, small intestine, and large intestine. Firstly, let's take a look at mouth, the first place where food enters the body. Physical digestion occurs in this area consists of cutting, chewing, grinding of food by teeth and rolling of food into a bully by the tongue. As for chemical digestion, salivary amylase enzyme is used. It breaks down starch into maltose. Second organ of the digestive system, the esophagus. It is a muscular tube consisting of longitudinal muscles and circular muscles. It transports food from the mouth to the stomach using peristalsis. A series of wave-like contraction and relaxation of the longitudinal and circular muscles, which pushes the food down. There is no chemical digestion by esophagus. However, the salivary amylase from the mouth might be on the bolli and some chemical digestion takes place, but no new enzymes are introduced in the esophagus. Third organ, stomach. It churns food due to peristalsis of stomach muscles, which helps to break the food into even smaller pieces. Increasing surface area for enzymes to act on hence increasing the rate of chemical digestion. It has gastric juice which consists of hydrochloric acid and pepsin. Hydrochloric acid kills bacteria, denatures amylase, provides optimal acidic medium for pepsin to work in. The enzyme that does chemical digestion here is pepsin. It breaks down protein into peptide chains and the end product is chyme. Fourth organ, small intestine. It is made up of duodenum, jejunum and ileum. Most of the digestion in the digestive system takes place here, in the small intestine. Physical digestion that happens here are peristalsis and emulsification. Let's take a look at the process of physical digestion in small intestine. Bile which is produced in the liver stored in the gallbladder, are released into small intestine. It provides optimal alkaline pH for enzymes. It also emulsifies fats by increasing the surface area of fat droplets, such that it increases surface area to volume ratio for enzyme lipase to act on. Do take note that the liver is not part of the digestive system, it is an accessory organ. The bile produced by it plays a crucial role in the digestion of fats in the digestive system. Now let's take a look at the process of chemical digestion. Pancreatic juice comes from the pancreas. It contains three types of enzymes. Pancreatic amylase which breaks down starch into maltose. Pancreatic lipase which breaks down fats into fatty acid and glycerol. Trypsin which breaks down protein into peptide chains. Similar to the liver, the pancreas is an accessory organ as it is not directly involved in digestion. However, the pancreatic juice is very important when released into the small intestine. There is intestinal juice found in small intestine. It contains a few types of enzyme. Lactase which breaks down lactose into glucose and galactose. Maltase which breaks down maltose into glucose and glucose. Intestinal lipase which breaks down fats into fatty acid and glycerol. Sucrase which breaks down sucrose into glucose and fructose. Neurepsin which breaks down peptide chains into amino acids. And now, digestion is complete. After food is digested, it has to be absorbed, and absorption starts in small intestine. Digested food diffuses through intestinal walls into the bloodstream. Digested food is transported by blood. Large intestine, also known as colon. Unabsorbed and undigested food goes in here. Water and mineral salts are absorbed here. 
remaining undigested food will then becomes feces. Rectum, it is found at the end point of the large intestine. Feces are temporarily stored here. Muscles of rectum are usually contracted to hold the feces. When muscles relax, feces are passed out. And lastly we have anus. This is where feces leaves the body. Now let us recap what we have learned today. The digestive system starts from mouth. Physical digestion occurs in this area consists of cutting, chewing, grinding of food by teeth and rolling of food into a bully by the tongue. As for chemical digestion, salivary amylase enzyme is used. It breaks down starch into maltose. Second organ of the digestive system, the esophagus. It transports food from the mouth to the stomach using peristalsis. A series of wave-like contraction and relaxation of the longitudinal and circular muscles, which pushes the food down. Third organ, stomach. It uses churning as its method of physical digestion. It has gastric juice which consists of hydrochloric acid and pepsin. Hydrochloric acid kills bacteria, denatures amylase, provides optimal acidic medium for pepsin to work in. The enzyme that does chemical digestion here is pepsin. It breaks down protein into peptide chains and the end product is chyme. Fourth organ, small intestine. For physical digestion, it emulsifies fats by bile produced by liver and uses peristalsis. For chemical digestion there is pancreatic amylase which breaks down starch into maltose. Pancreatic lipase which breaks down fats into fatty acid and glycerol. Trypsin which breaks down protein into peptide chains. There is intestinal juice found in small intestine. It contains a few types of enzyme. Lactase which breaks down lactose into glucose and galactose. Maltase which breaks down maltose into glucose and glucose. Intestinal lipase which breaks down fats into fatty acid and glycerol. Sucrase which breaks down sucrose into glucose and fructose. Neurepsin which breaks down peptide chains into amino acids. Digestion is completed here, and absorption of food occurs here as well and simple enough to diffuse through intestinal walls. Large intestine, also known as colon. Unabsorbed and undigested food goes in here. Water and mineral salts are absorbed here. Remaining undigested food will then becomes feces. Rectum, it is found at the end point of the large intestine. Feces are temporarily stored here. Muscles of rectum are usually contracted to hold the feces. When muscles relax, feces are passed out. And lastly we have anus. This is where feces leaves the body. Thank you for the effort to learn with me. Good job. That is all for today. Stay tuned for more interesting lessons from me. See you next time. Bye-bye.